In today's video, I'm going to show you five tips that can make a huge difference in your city. I've added chapters so you can skip to the final and best tip, but I do recommend you watch the entire video. Let's get building. Number one, delete unused power lines. When you first start your city, you have to use power lines to spread the power. Oftentimes, these power lines run through various parts of your city. Sometimes, when the city expands, these power lines are forgotten since the power spreads automatically through the blue power bubble from building to building. So always remember to check if you have some unused power lines that you could delete to create more building space to expand your city. Number two, planning. When starting your city, it is important to do at least a bit of planning of your road layout. Think about where you want to have your basic road layout and where you want to place your roads in the future. It's not a big issue if you have to relocate some residents and or shops, but needing to relocate service buildings does cost a bit of money, which can be avoided by a proper planned road layout. Number three, room for upgrades. Always keep your road infrastructure in mind. If you perhaps want an arterial road running through your city, it is wise to avoid zoning or placing service buildings on a road which you plan to have as the arterial. That way you can easily upgrade your roads to a bigger road which can handle more traffic than the previous cheaper road. Number four, service placement. Be aware that your services do not have an infinite range for the area they can cover. So keep that in mind when placing the same type of service buildings. Check the radius and place your service buildings accordingly. That way you can save some money by maximizing the range of your services. Number five, plan for and prioritize public transport. The biggest challenge in the game is without a doubt traffic. The more your city grows, the more traffic it generates. Just like in real cities, the major roads will become crowded and backed up with cars, no matter how carefully you plan your road layout. The probably best way to somewhat counter this is to have a good public transport layout. That means the different types of public transportation complement each other. Your citizens will prioritize buses, metros, monorails, trams, as long as your city is laid out well with these forms of public transportation. It's best to have bus stops at metro stops, which lead in other directions, connect those with trams, and maybe even have a monorail in the mix. That way your citizens might consider leaving their car at home and traveling by bus, metro, tram, monorail, or all of these on their journey. And with these tips, the best video for you to watch next is how to start your city. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.